and welcome back to my channel, Just Booking Around. My name is Amber and I'm so excited to finally be able to do a video for you guys. I've been out of commission for a few weeks. I moved out of state and so I have been just so busy packing and then moving and then unpacking everything you just packed. So I haven't had a chance to do a video and to make matters worse, my computer died and was having issues so I had to take it in so that was a whole other week of them doing repairs on my computer so pretty much the universe was against me when it came to making a video for you so I think I'm mostly settled in but enough that I can start making videos for you lovelies and I'm so excited to do a video today on my book hauls. I haven't had time to read very much. I'm reading here and there, but I do always have time to go to the bookstore and buy books. So I have not slacked in that department. Um, so I am reading. I'm actually reading like three books at once because none of them are speaking to me. I it's just it's like I'm forcing myself to read it and after a while I can't take it anymore so I have to put it down and pick something else up. I don't know if it's just the mood I'm in or what's happening. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll keep you posted for the wrap up, which I will do one. So let's get started. Um, the first book that I got this month is called Quiet, The Power of Introverts in a World They Can't Stop Talking. I know, right? What? I am actually like the biggest introvert on the planet and you would not think so doing a YouTube channel, but I really am such a an introvert and I was excited to get this book and it's on the bestsellers list and it's a really great book if you're trying to understand how to read and understand a introvert styled person when I was reading this I was just like okay that's me to a T so anyway this is a really great book if you want to understand them or if you are one yourself it's kind of a way to better understand yourself so anyway really great book and it's by Susan Kane the next book I got is called The Muse by Jesse Burton. I just love this cover. It is so pretty. I've had tons of fun snapping pictures with this on my Instagram because there's so many fun colors to pull out of the cover. This is one of the books that I'm reading right now and I'm struggling with it. It is a very different style of a book. It's almost coming from the perspective of two different people and two different time periods. So it starts out in one time period and then all of a sudden it jumps to another time period and you're going, wait, what's going on? So it's a little confusing. I almost feel like I need to read it after I finish reading it. It's one of those books I would need to reread, I think, to kind of put all the pieces together and have it make sense because right now I'm really kind of confused. So one book in the adult section, adult fiction. This is going to be my YA stuff. I picked up these two books. There is a third one, but um, they're gorgeous. This is called The Fairest of All, and this one is called The Beast Within. I absolutely love the artwork, and I'm reading this one. This is on, so you got the jacket, the dust jacket, and then this is what the cover looks like on the inside. love it. I think it is so pretty. Anything to do with Disney, I absolutely love. I want to show you this one. So this is Snow White, the witch on Snow White, and then there's her cover. So that to that. And then there is a third book, and it is of Ursula. I have not picked that one up yet, but I'm going to. And guess what, people? They're the velvety covers that I love. You guys know, if you watch my one video, I talked about velvet covers, and I absolutely love them. Oh, sorry, this is written, these are written by, um, oh, why doesn't she list her first name? It's a girl. Serena Valentino, if you're interested in these. These are really cool books. They're simple reads, too. I'm reading um, The Beast Within, and they're just a pretty light, simple read. The next book is a third book in the Iron Fate series by Julie Kagawa. I am going to get through this. I'm still reading book two, but I picked up book three. Isn't this cover pretty? I love the pink, because you all know I love pink. And I picked up Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Or Rowell. And I wanted this specific one. There's another edition and it's in like a blue color, a mint color, but I really, really wanted the pink cover and I found it at the bookstore and ah, I was so excited. 
excited. I've heard so many great things about Fangirl. Everyone's read it, I swear. Okay, I went a little nuts in the little kids section at the bookstore. I've been really wanting more middle grade books and I've been in a middle grade mood, so I went a little crazy. So one that I picked up, it's another Disney book and it's called, it's a Starlings and it's a collection about, I don't really know, about these three girls, an academy, and there's wish granters. I don't really know. But when I finish reading it, I will tell you all about it. But I think it is so cute. And I love, if you look at the inside, like, the pages are, like, colored. They're pretty colored pages. I love that. Disney always does such awesome stuff with their books. So if you have, it looks like something for a little girl, but I don't care. I don't care. The next one I got is called The Night Gardener, and this is by Jonathan Oxier. Oxier? Love the cover. Kind of creepy. And there are several books by him. I'm excited to read this and see. I'll tell you what about him. I already told you guys I'm not going to give you the synopsis because I don't want him to be wrong. So right now I'm just showing you what I'm getting. I'll tell you the wrap up. So this one is Dr. Critch. Dr. Critchlore's School for Minions. <laughs> and this sounded like such a despicable me book that I just, I had to pick it up. Not to mention the artwork on the cover is awesome. I'm sure my camera is not even picking up how beautiful the sketches are on this. I love the cover of this book. It sounds like a school for like people who are wanting to become minions for overlords and stuff. So it sounds like a fun, just a fun, lighthearted book. The next book that I got is The Gallery by Laura Marks Fitzgerald and another beautiful cover. It's kind of got some like gold embossing or something on it. So it's really pretty cover. Another, this was kind of an eye candy book, but it did sound like an interesting book as well. And of course, Everyone has this book, probably. If you are a Potter fan, you all went and got the new Harry Potter book. I started reading it, but I left. I started moving right at the same time, and so I didn't really get into it, but I have started reading it. And it's interesting. It is not what I was expecting at all. I didn't realize it was like reading a play script, and so I didn't read that one thoroughly. So it's different. So when you pick it up, just expect like it. It really goes into like who's speaking and it so you have to kind of get used to it. at first I was just like oh I cannot this is too mental for me right now this is gonna take too much work on my brain to like be like Albus is saying this Harry is saying this it was just too much work for my brain at the moment so I will pick that one up later and last but not least, this really isn't a book, but I found the coolest sock store by my house. And I've been wanting to do Sock Sunday on Instagram. If you follow Instagram or other book bookers on Instagram, Sock Sunday is a huge thing on there. And so everyone always posts cute, fun socks, and I don't really have any. I'm boring. I have like little ankle socks. So I found a cute sock store with some fun socks, so I'm gonna be able to do it. So I got this cute, like patriotic looking one for this Sunday, so go check it out since the Olympics will be over. I wanted to celebrate. This is another pair and it is in Alice in Wonderland. I won't show you the picture because I want to be able to wear it and then you'll have to check back on my Instagram feed to see that one. And then my favorite thing are flamingos. I am such a flamingo freak, so I love flamingos. I have a flamingo cookie jar and it is so incredibly cute. Okay, people, I think I'm done with my <laughs> haul slash sock haul as well and as always if you have any book suggestions for me please list them down below if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have not subscribed make sure you click the subscribe button down there it's in red just click on that and then you get to get more fun videos from me so as always have a beautiful wonderful day and I will be seeing you soon bye